How to create pop-up on Wix. The first thing you want to do once on your Wix website editor page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on the plus that says add elements. After tapping on the plus, from here what I want you to do next, you're going to select interactive and then from there you're going to see light boxes. And this is Wix version of a pop-up as you can see the different pop-ups right there. So you can select whichever option you want. So for example, if you like to select one of their subscribe options, you can do that. If you like to create a promotion pop-up, you can also do that. As you can see right here, there are quite a few options that you can choose from. So let's say we would like to use this pop-up. All you have to do is simply tap on the pop-up and you can see it has been added right there. Now you can set up when you'd like your pop-up to appear by tapping on set triggers. After tapping on set triggers, from here you could edit the pop-up name so you can change the name if you want. From here you have the option whether you would like the light box to automatically be displayed on pages. If you don't want that, you can select no. You can also select the pages that you'd like it to be displayed on. So you can see which page is it on. At the moment, it is on the home page. You could tap right there. And if you'd like to display it on all pages, you can simply tap on the pages that you'd like it to be displayed on. Or you can select the particular page that you'd like it to be displayed on better yet. After doing that, you'll tap on the X. So you can see it will be displayed on three pages. You can also scroll down and you can select when it will be displayed. So you can see it will pop up after the person has been on our website for two seconds. If you like to extend that time to 10 seconds or so on, you can do that as you can see right there. So I'm going to be leaving it at two seconds or better yet one second. Then from there, you can also scroll down. And if you'd like to set a schedule at when it will be displayed, so let's say, for example, it is a promotion and you want it to be displayed from the 7th until, let's say, for example, the 8th. So we'll simply tap right here where you see start date and it is going to be displayed from the 7th, as you can see right there. And we're going to tap here and we're going to be displaying it until the 8th. So you can see right there. You can also select the start time. As you can see there, you can select when you'd like it to start exactly and when you'd like it to stop. You can also select whether you would like the X icon to close it. If you would like to toggle that off and instead have a close button, you can do that as you can see right there. Once you're finished making all of the changes, you can tap on the X. Then from there, you could tap on design right here. And from there, you'll be able to change the background image and so on if you want. You can also scroll down and you can select one of these copyright free images or you can simply tap on color and you can change the background color. If you would like to do anything else, for example, you can tap on animate and then from there, you can select the animation that you want, whether you like it to glide in or bounce in or float in. You can see right there, you have different animations that you can choose from. So let's say, for example, I were to select expand in. After you have done that, you can also tap on manage light boxes. So let me do that real quick. After you have tapped on manage light boxes, you can see it right here. So if it is a case that you would like to delete it in the future, you can do that by tapping on the three dots right here and tap on delete. Now all I would need to do, so let me tap on the X to close that and I'm going to be tapping on preview in the top right hand corner so that you can see how it looks when someone visits my website. So I'm going to tap on preview right here. Once the changes have been saved, you will see how it looks. So this is it at the moment. So you can see right here, I'm currently on my website and you can see the pop up appears. So that is basically it. You can also edit the stuff that is displayed right here. So for example, if you'd like to add another box instead of just having enter your email address, you can also do that. So if we were to tap on back to editor in the top right hand corner, 
once on the editor page i'm going to be showing you how to further edit your pop-up if you would like to make any other changes so you can see it right here if you would like to add something else you can simply tap right here then you'll see the option add new field after tapping on add new field you can select whether you like to collect the person's first name last name phone number or so on if you want hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe